Hi guys, this is Zizi here, back in coaching, and today we have another episode of Position of the Day. Today's position is number 15. We are black, we are 42 pips down, and we are about to play for one. Now, pause the video if you want to think about it, as I'm going to share the explanation. Um, looking at all the positions, what I always say, what I always repeat is look into the future. You always should expect what's going to happen. More importantly, what's happening right now in this situation. Because what can you expect from your opponent in the next turn? What can possibly happen? Well, I can expect him to play from the third from from our 13 point which means from our from his 12 point right so well i've got two choices i can slot my four point board four point but well i'm expecting him to play from this point right i mean i'm expecting that pretty i mean after playing nine to four what else can i expect you know if it all something like whatever six four Let's say he rolls 6-4. Well, he's playing from the 12th point. If he rolls, what's there next? 6-3, I guess. Well, he's playing from the 12th point again. So, this is what I can expect. And what am I hoping for? Well, obviously, I'm hoping for him for us to hit him, right? To roll the 9. And, well, in this scenario, it will highly matter what I play in this turn. So let's go back to our 4-1. Um, is it really necessary to play 9-4 to and to leave the bot in our home board? Because once I do that, once I play 9-4, to and let's say I get so lucky that I, uh, that I hit him in the next row once he leaves the shot. Well, then he's got a, like a pretty good shooting range where he can just hit me back. So I'm not going to be that happy as I was supposed to be. So um, am I really helping myself by slowing the four point in other scenarios? Well, not really. I mean, if I play something like 12-7, I've got still a nice board. I will make my four point anyways without needing to slotting it. And yeah, this is pretty much now if I manage to hit him next row, if I get lucky, he leaves a shot as um, um, as we saw he can he can then well I definitely prefer this position can I actually check and suddenly he will not even be leaving it immediately as you can see I mean opponent may but that's why I hesitate because correctly he shouldn't because now it doesn't matter for him when he's gonna leave it so this is something important you know. Um, now, well, even if he doesn't do that, well, I'm going to build my four point without leaving a necessary shot there, we are, without leaving a necessary blood there. And well, once he leaves that 12 point, I'll be able to hit him and not risk anything. So let's see our 4-1, which was like this. Therefore, I should not choose to play 9-4. Because, well, for the all reasons mentioned, it's I don't gain, I ever, I don't gain anything, you know. And yeah, I will just lose if I hit him and he hits me back. So in this situation, I'll choose to make the seven point, which is the right idea. Uh, we can see that nine to four is kind of sizable mistake for the for the game we're playing, you know. We're basically playing, well. I mean, the easiest game we can play, you know, and we can have this sizable error. Well, but now, um, how can I prove, it as, prove this, that this is the only way to look for? Maybe you don't believe me, babe. I mean, it makes like 100% sense and it's all true what I'm saying. I just want to show you more that if there is one checker extra, well, then he's like never ever leaving me an indirect shot. So in this scenario, I would have no problem slotting that four point and if I make it more precise well we can see that now okay now it doesn't matter at all what I do but yeah now 
I definitely, I mean, definitely, we can see that there is no difference. But now I can confidently say that I prefer 9 to 4 because he's never ever leaving me a shot. And the point I want to make is the 4 point, right? So now I will choose to make the 4 point because he's not leaving me a shot. So just, you know, you should be aware about the future. Expect things when there's basically nothing else to happen. You can adjust your moves, adjust your thinking to the right way where you will be able to find these. I mean, over the board, you will, of course, if you have this over the board, well, maybe you, sh you will play automatically 9 to 4. But well, that should not be your mindset. Your mindset should be that, oh my, he may leave the 12 point immediately. And well, if I'm about to hit him, then this is this kind of, again, I have to, I don't know what language I can speak on YouTube, but well, you know, it's kind of not so nice. And yeah, so instead of automatically playing 9 to 4, you should automatically think, oh, I don't want to have a blood there. Well, let's play 12 to 7. So hope this is clear. Um, if you've got any comments, I'll appreciate if you put them down below and I'll be happy to answer any, any questions. See you guys. See you with another episode soon. Bye-bye. If you enjoy learning about backgammon, watching backgammon, we upload videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Make sure to subscribe so you will not miss any of our content. And remember, when you think there is nothing else coming up, there's always something coming up.